No, you're not gonna kill him. You're not killing him. No, you're not. No, you're not. This isn't Belfast. Oh, 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 yes, yes, yes. All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be watching Peaky Blinders Season 1, Episode 5. In the last episode, Ada gave birth. Tommy called a truce with Freddy as like a friendly gesture to be like, look, I'll let you see your kid tonight. No beef night. So that was very nice by Tommy. But when they were talking about that in the bar, you know, Grace was like, wait, Freddy's coming in the town right now? He's gonna be here? And they were like, yeah, he's gonna go see his kid. Tommy said, it's all cool. She darted out of the room and just so happens, she installed a phone into the bar. Who does she call? Hmm. She she puts in a tip now what's very interesting is tommy's chilling in the bar and aunt polly comes in and she goes you liar and then slaps him right and then tommy's like at first he's like really confused he's like he's like he's like i didn't do anything and then his face goes from being confused to like just straight face like he just like he just realized i think that was the moment he realized grace is working for inspector campbell it ha that has to be the moment it has to be and so now I'm really curious to see what his next move will be. So I really hope he doesn't call her out and be like, you're working for Inspector Campbell. No, that would be such a rookie mistake. He shows his cards, you know, I hope he kind of pretends he doesn't know. He starts getting Grace to do things for him, you know, because she's working for him, you know, and then he's slowly setting her up though. He's starting to set her up because, because she doesn't know, he just realized. I think that would be the best course or he could call her out and be like, look, I know you're working for Inspector Campbell, but then he's gonna leverage it somehow. Like how he just straight up told Inspector Campbell, look, I have your guns, buddy. And if you arrest me right now, you're never seeing those guns because I'm sending them straight off to Libya. You're gonna let me do whatever the fuck I want, you know, unless he pulls a move like that. So we'll just see what happens. I'm super excited. I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this episode. If you'd like to watch the full three action, that'll be available on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes of Peaky Blinders will also be available on Patreon and YouTube memberships. So click the join button down below. I have a playlist. But anyways, Let's get started. A dusty black coat with a red right hand. Dude, that ca the cadence to the song is so familiar. I want to say it's from like a Pixar movie. I don't know. It's the last time I'm going to say this. It wasn't me who shot Freddy Thorne. I'd ask you to swear on the Bible, but you can't swear on that, can you? If he does know, if he does know it's Grace, he's not going to tell anyone. He's going to keep that to himself. Black Star. What does that mean? Black Star Day. It's the day we take out Billy Kimber and his men. All right. No one knows this. Not even your family. Everyone in my family hates me. What would I tell them? Or maybe him telling her he's, that's the day to take out Billy Kimber and his men is a way to set her up and get inspe her Inspector Campbell to make a bad move. I don't know. Maybe he doesn't know about her yet. Hey, no, I just shout me! Dad? Hmm, what the hell? Oh, okay. How are you, son? Get out. I'm a changed man. This family needed you ten years ago. And you walked out on us. He's our dad. <sighs> He's a selfish bastard. Yeah, Tommy doesn't like their dad because he walked out, but it looks like Arthur has forgiven him and Arthur wants him to be in their life, but no one else does. Arthur, there are things in these books I don't understand. Daniel Owen. In London. Danny Wisbeck hangs around the pubs in Camden Sam Wharf for us. I thought Danny Wisbeck was dead. And you thought mm. wrong, didn't you? But I've seen his grave. He, he was shot. Now that was a show to satisfy the wops. Dude, she could go tell the Italians now. That he, he never, he's not dead. There's a little war between them right there. There still beats a fluttering pulse of a dream. The Shelby Casino and Hotel. Mm. Arthur's gonna buy into it and it's gonna they're gonna lose a lot of money. And Tommy's gonna be like, what the fuck, you bloody tat? You bloody twat. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Let's bloody do it. Why don't you talk to Tommy first? Now, now I'm sick of mm -hmm. taking orders from him. Tommy's yeah. not the only one in the family with a need for business. Mm. And Shelby money. Uh, no, Shelby no. money. No, this is gonna go so bad. Oh, that was a nasty right hook. Get up! That's her! That's Arthur Shelby Jr. My son! I love him and I'm proud of him! And he can find any one of you in here! What a bonding exercise. Mr. Shelby. Who's asking? <laughs> a few months ago, a man named Ryan came to this place with a view to buy some goods from you. Mr. Ryan met with an accident, he was shot. 
There's a mom with a quick mouth. I know that. I wonder if he made any enemies in here. None that I know of. Ryan told you he was a member of the Irish Republican Army. Was he still welcome? Like I say, any man who buys beer is well. In pubs, sometimes people say things. Sometimes it's the whiskey talking. It's hard to tell which is which. Ryan, for all his quick mouth, was indeed connected. Very well connected to our brotherhood. By membership and blood. He was my cousin. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm a man of influence there. Oh, he doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> my cousin came to buy guns. And I told him I have none. Enough belts of ammunition to hold up God's treasury. He says only the brothers know where the guns are kept. Mm. They say too, has him. Let me get to the point. He wants revenge. My cousin was shot. I am judge, jury, and executioner. Mm. I find you guilty and I pass sentence. You deliver the guns to me. Nah. Or I deliver death and hell's fury to you and your little tribe of heathens. But am I making myself clear? Look at Tommy, really he it's not even gonna flinch. He's about to refute this so hard. He's about to counter him so hard. Let me confess something to you. I have the guns. But they have become a burden to me. Mm. Perhaps it is time to unload that burden. Get right yeah, get get him to do something for you. Bro, you can just tell by his posture. He's just, he's not worried at all. I like your bar. Yeah. <laughs> you hooked yourself a big fish there. With these guns yeah. as baits, who knows what we'll catch. Yep, hand him over to Inspector Campbell. And I want word put out in Ireland that I was not involved. So I'd be solving a problem for you. Yeah. And I'd be winning you that medal. Exactly. See, Tommy's smart. He knows when to work with his enemies. He works with enemy A to get rid of enemy C. And then he'll use enemy B to get rid of enemy A. He's just using all of them, you know? It's all there. Arthur. Where are ya? Yeah. Ship sails Friday. Meet me at the boxing ring. Right. Friday. Friday. His dad's gonna fuck him over. Steal that money and then just never talk to him again. Take its money and then just dip and ghost him. Are you expecting trouble? At this hour? Big nice is as good an hour as any. Two IRA men are gonna come through that door. When they have what they want, they plan to kill me. Yeah, the Irishman. It's your job to stop that happening. Ooh. When I make a toast, you're gonna come out with that thing raised. You don't shoot, you just point. I'll do the rest. Ooh. Right. <laughs> right, go, go, go on, go. Just show us where. Give me the cash. Yeah, and the, they just kill him after he gives it to them, because I mean, like, why the fuck would they not? You thick fucking tinker. Do you yeah. think we'd let you live? Peace, Mr. Shelby. Mm. Come on, Grace. <laughs> to barmaids, you don't count. Oh, fuck, he said not to fire it. Okay, whatever. Come on. Oh, he agrees. That was a nice shock. Come on, Tommy, come on. Oh, what is oh Tommy's gonna war flashbacks. He's getting out. Yep. Oh, right in the nuts! Ah! <laughs> oh, Grace is like, holy shit. Tommy's a psycho. Oh my god. <sighs> well, so much for working with Inspector Campbell, I guess. Why did you shoot Grace? I didn't know that it didn't mean like that. Don't let these tears fool you. There's all dog around his mug. You've seen me. And you've seen me. I'm sorry. You were supposed to come in the sixth chime. You were supposed to come in the fucking sixth chime! They refused to surrender. They fought well, they were brave men. Respect. I had no idea he would involve you in this ugly business. If I had, I never would have let it happen. I had no control. You've been living with beasts. It was the beast that tried to stop me. I believe last night something inside me changed. 
I no longer feel the need to avenge my father. Mm. The hatred that I brought here with me is gone. And therefore my reasons for joining the service. Oh, yep, yep. I think our mission has come to a natural end. Damn, yeah, she can't fuck over Tommy. She, I think she... I know where the guns are hidden. Oh. Found you have no more business with Thomas Shelby. Is that not so? Mm. Our military mission will be over and we can leave the city as we found it. I want your she... word that Tommy Shelby will not be harmed if the guns yeah. are recovered. Yep. Your word as a gentleman. Because she likes him. Do you give it? Hell no, he's not going to give it. I mean, he might, he'll lie, but like... So for my sake, will you spare him? Yes. You have my word. Oh, that's so... <laughs> After the robbery, there was a burial at St. Andrew's Churchyard. Mm -hmm. I have found out that the man supposed to be buried is alive. Yeah, so he buried them? It's a lot of shit to bury. Guns are buried in that grave. And tonight we will dig up that grave. Yeah, and Arthur is being stood up right now. Aww. I'd be sure they would not say oh shit! No, they, my are they actually? Tree, the my oh, they're actually the guns. Shit. Well done, boys. I smell. All but one gun accounted for. Damn, I thought there was way more than just as much as he could bury. Shit. Okay. Well, I guess he wasn't setting her up either. Shit. <laughs> Unless somehow this is part of a bigger plan in his head. He needs Inspector Campbell to find the guns. This I don't know. I don't know, dude. That's like... And therefore, regulations permit me to offer you this. Hmm. No, no you're not, dog. You're not going to fucking marry her, dog. No. Oh, my God. You're so... I'm a... I'm a simple man, but... Dude, he doesn't like you. She likes Tommy. Recognition that we are... Like minds, or shared values. Grace, will you marry me? She's gonna say no. Mr. Campbell. Mm. You deserve better. Uh, yeah, that's the best way she could reject him. Is it him between us? Yes. <laughs> Is it the beast, that dog, that grave? Is it him? My resignation will be with you in the morning. That was a weird scene. That was weird, dude. That was weird. I guess, I guess they're trying to give Inspector Campbell more of a reason to hate Tommy and make it even more personal, but that was just weird. Hello, son. At least we got to say goodbye, son. Fuck you, dude. Give me my money back. How could you do this to us? All that stuff you said about the Shelby Casino. I'm not so acquainted with that promised land as I had thee believe. Yeah, you just wanted your money. I feel bad for Arthur, dude. You're a fucking liar and a thief. I waited for you. I waited. <laughs> There's nothing to prize ring now. Never put your hands on me again. I'll cut your fucking throat and spread you on these tracks. Damn. Arthur wanted his dad back so bad, and his dad used that against them to steal some money. I guess, like, his dad would win that fight, too, so, shit. Where's your father? Now he has to tell them how he gave him all the money. Oh, my God. Frishing away the 500 you took from us and put into his thieving, whore-groping hands. No, she, she anticipated <laughs> How dare you do something like that without talking to Thomas or me? Who's told me now? No, but you're going to tell him. Oh, yeah, make him, yeah, make him throw him. Oh, dude, that's gonna be so, so hard to watch, I feel like. He's gonna be mad, but he's, he's gonna be more disappointed, though. Yeah, okay, so the, the kid's showing him all the guns were taken. Fuck, so he didn't set Grace up. He had no idea. Damn, that's kind of disappointing. Drive our sword through his black heart. No, for a while. Why? I lost my bargaining power. His copper is just, just me and him now. You took a chance for me. Why? To tell you. The police are in the line, Tommy. Oh shit. Cause he loves you. Okay, so he had, he had no fucking idea it was her. All right. But now she doesn't work for Inspector Campbell, so she's gonna be helping him out now. Perhaps I should ask that question again. On your knees. No, you're not gonna kill him. You're not killing it. No, you're not. No, you're not. This isn't Belfast. If left with Grace, I think they were going to her place. Damn. He folded. Call it off. Yep, yeah, because he's with Grace. So we should find the bomb agency. Call it off! That's his leverage for now against them is Grace. Or maybe 
Inspector Campbell's going by himself or something like that. Like, he's still going to go to Grace's place because he knows Tommy's there. And he doesn't want to show up with all the cops. When the trouble dies down, I'll go. When would it die down, do you think? Late, I'd say. So not until the morning, then. Oh, we got some time to kill and sit some cardio. <laughs> yep. By himself. Are you okay? I don't hear the shovels against the wall. Aww. He's in peace. He finally has peace. Help you with what? With everything. The whole fucking thing. Fucking life. Business. I found you. And you found me. Mm, he's in love. Well, you know what that means. Since the season's almost over, we got one more episode. I think in season two, she's gonna die. Bring me dreamlessly. Like she's gonna be used against Tommy somehow, and it's gonna be his fault why she died or something like that. No, 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 this, no, this is, no. I thought of watching it. No, no, no. No! Arthur. Dude, I really fucking liked him. Dude, dude, he was like my second favorite Shelby. Oh, oh, oh yes, 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 fuck. When it showed her the rope, I was like, oh, there's a little tiny, it's breaking, it's ripping just a little bit. But then it, it fucking broke, let's go. Send, send a telegram to Mr. Churchill. The business I came to attend to is now complete. I'll be leaving the city. Uh, right. There's just one matter huh? I need to tidy up first. Yeah. <laughs> Thought he was gonna leave him alone, but no, 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 no. He's too petty. Damn, look at his neck. And they're gonna notice that. Tommy's gonna notice it. Mm -hmm. He's not gonna be mad at Arthur, he's just gonna have empathy for him. So Polly told you, he should have used a gun. Mm -hmm. But if he killed his dad right there in the train station, he would, he would have been arrested, right? Don't you like fancy parties? Your name on a business card. Mm -hmm. Shelby. You were one of three shareholders. But the thing is, uh, well, me and John were quite fancy splitting your share. So, just next time, use a gun, man. Oh, men at the station tell me that copper is leaving town. We're in the clear. Mm, he, nah, he's staying. He has one more thing to tidy up. One more thing. Just one more and that's, that's you, bud. Alright, he made Arthur feel a lot better. Alright, alright. You'd love to see it. You'd love to see it. Alright, well that was Season 1, Episode 5. Um, I expected this episode to go a bit differently. I thought he knew. I thought he fucking knew right there at the end of last episode, but I guess not. I mean, Arthur is the one who told her about the grave and stuff. And then when he was talking to the Irish guys, he was like, you'll need a shovel, you know? So, okay, that probably, that's probably where she got it from. So he didn't like set her up or anything. So, okay. All right. All right. Damn. So he got outsmarted right there. Damn. So she did her job, but the twist was she's she fell in love with him and he fell in love with her and she resigned from her job and you know obviously inspector campbell is still gonna try and go after them he has one more thing to tidy up he doesn't want to hurt grace but he wants tommy dead because you know tommy finessed him pretty hard in the season and he stole he stole grace from him too so all right <laughs> so that's like his extra motivation right there to have him killed and everything so but i think grace is definitely gonna die in the next season i don't think i don't think they would do it in episode six the last episode of the season I, that would feel kind of weird they're gonna do it as a way to like torture slash motivate tommy or whatever right so i don't know maybe inspector campbell kills grace in the next episode and season two is about tommy getting his revenge on inspector campbell something like that i don't know they could go with something like that in season two but one thing i do know about season two is tom hardy shows up 
I can't wait for that. I can't wait for that. And then with Arthur, uh, I feel bad for Arthur, dude. So their dad showed up in the episode. Everyone, nobody in the family likes him except Arthur. Arthur's the only one who still who still loves him and wants him in his life and everything. And his dad tricked him into invest, investing into this casino and hotel, you know? And I think Arthur was just really, he wanted to prove that Tommy's not the only brains of the operation. He can make good business moves too. And also it's just the fact that his dad, so he felt comfortable enough to trust his dad. And it backfired and yeah. His dad screwed him over, took his money, and it's like, uh, like even if Arthur were to try and beat his ass at the train station, and he did, and got his money back, he would have been arrested, right? Like, but honestly, I don't think he could have beat his dad. Like, he could barely beat his dad's ass in the fighting pit, so it's like he would have lost that too. And it's just like it would be so hard for him to kill his dad right there or something, you know? That would have been a crazy twist if he just pulls out a gun and shoots him or whatever. But and then he felt really bad about what he did, you know? And Paul was like, "You're gonna tell Tommy what happened," and I don't think he. I don't think he had the courage to look Tommy in the eyes and tell him what he just did. Like, so he tried to hang himself and it didn't work, thankfully. I really like Arthur. I think he's my, he's definitely my second favorite Shelby. It goes Tommy, Arthur, John, eh, and Polly second. Okay, Arthur's third. Arthur's my third favorite Shelby. I forgot about her for a second, but, but yeah, Tommy found peace with Grace. She is his peace in life. He doesn't hear the shovels anymore. And that, that's saying a lot for him, you know? Because he hears him every single damn night. It's PTSD from the war. And he's finally met his peace. So they're definitely going to take her away from him. They definitely are. 100%. No doubt in my mind. But anyways, that was season one, episode five. Comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. If you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.